review a few tips on barter and internet marketing. You scratch my back, and? Bartering and internet marketing as the English statesman and philosopher Edmund Burke once pointed out, all government, indeed every human benefit and enjoyment, every virtue, and every prudent act, is founded on compromise and barter. If it was good enough for him, then perhaps the principle of bartering may be an inexpensive way for you to grow your business and move it firmly into the fast lane. A brief summary of my previous article on review on bartering and internet marketing covered a small aspect of the barter system, how it can save you cold hard cash in exchange for a product or service. Just another method you can use in your online marketing, what can you bring to the table? Firstly, no one likes to see their time being wasted. Before approaching anyone, make sure you have a firm idea of what you are asking and what you are willing to offer in return. Do try to make sure that your demands are reasonable. It's no use offering a half a dozen eggs for a week's work. Although this is bartering, it is not the Middle Ages. Secondly, who is the person most likely to make the decision concerning your request? If for example, all you require is the use of some office equipment, the obvious person to see is the office manager, not the CEO of the company. Ah. Uh, but I hear you cry, I don't know the name of the office manager? Here is a simple trick, simply ring the company and ask the receptionist for the office manager's name and email address. This works still, even in this day and age of privacy of information. Once you have your plan firmly in place, then decide whether to email or personally contact the person you wish to speak to, to make an appointment. Another hint, leave the full details of your plan until the face-to-face -face or one-on-one -on -one meeting. The way to make sure you do not undersell yourself, is to try to assess how important what you're asking is to your online business. If in fact the requirement can wait, perhaps the finances will become available at an appropriate time? If however, you are unable to proceed until you have surmounted your particular business hurdle, then any arrangement that enables you to continue is a good one. Do not be concerned or ashamed at being perceived as having taken the weaker position. The process is not about strong-arming the competition but barter and exchange. In fact, if you can create the belief that the other person has just received a bargain, then surely that's what internet marketing is all about?